What's up guys, as always I am Chef, and we're back with more Minecraft Feed the Beast Light. And today we're picking up rails. And we're picking up rails because I finished the nether portal system that I was talking about building. Um, and I'm going to use the rails to connect the two portals in the nether, just, it's kind of a, it's not a precarious or even a very far walk, it's just kind of a pain in the ass walk, so you'll actually see her just now. And this took some doing, um, not a lot. I'll move this later. It took some doing, and I did record it. It wasn't very interesting because I kind of mucked it up a few times. There's actually another portal up there from when I screwed it up the first time. So it just—it wasn't very interesting. I thought maybe there'd be some glorious battle between me and some ghasts. No, they just kind of left me alone. So I'll go ahead, go through the portal, and I'll show you what I did. All right, so we're here in the Nether, and you can also notice the mini map is back on. That's because while I was doing all this, let me kind of get in here in case any ghasts decided to spawn around. Um, the compass went nuts. I got lost a couple times trying to link the portals. One, I got a random portal in the middle of nowhere, and I followed the the compass back, and it led me to I don't even know where. It or it was just the it was just a random like a randomly picked spot. So I had to I, I said you know what I built the compass I built a map let's not do that built the compass built a map. Uh, I'll go ahead and just turn the mini map back on. Is it a little cheaty? Yeah, but when the game bugs out and I can't find my way home with the way that I'm supposed to, I, I kind of felt like I had no option. Ah, where are you? Where? Oh, son. Oh, he's really far away. I don't want to deal with you right now. Oh my god, that noise is terrible. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Anyways, yeah. So if you look up there, there's a uh, you can see the uh, the minimap program actually, or minimap mod it, rather, actually kind of shrinks the distances for you. You can yeah, you can just barely see the portal up there. So, and basically how you do that is you um you get your get your port get the coordinates on the overworld where you want your portals to be, or we'll build them where you want them to be. Write down the coordinates, divide them by eight. Then once you have the new coordinates that you divided by eight, build portals in the nether at those coordinates. These will sync the portals together, and so this one goes to the stronghold, that one goes back to my house. So what I want to do is use the rails that I just picked up, and just build a little rail system between here and there, just because I can, mostly. <laughs> Don't have a good reason for it. laid down, need to go build some powered rails, grab some redstone torches, build a minecart, and go ahead, nah, no, bye, I'm out, deuces, oh no, I put the portal out, didn't it, you bastard, you bitch, die, pain in my ass, pain in my ass, hate ghasts, hate them, uh, where's my flint and steel? Now we're good. Damn casts. Uh, as you can see, we're right back home. Perfect. It's pretty easy in theory, but if you don't abide by the rules very closely, like I didn't, it gets a little, uh, a little screwy. I don't... And I'm out of bread, because I'm never home enough in this chunk for it to load and the farm to grow. Do I have anything else I can eat? Flesh. Chicken, maybe. So, yeah, that's, yeah. Let's go ahead and build a few powered rails. Where's my gold? There's my gold. If I can actually remember how to do this, it's actually been a really long time since I've built powered rails. Um, sticks. I need sticks. I think. I think I need sticks. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh maybe it's track. It's in a track. Booster track. What is this nonsense? Oh, it's because of the railcraft mod. Oh, you bastard! It's not going to be that easy. No. Standard rail. What in the hell? That's... Alright, I'll be right back when I have all this put together. Which I just enough of the uh, track that I found to go ahead and pull this off without it being too too difficult. So then we gotta go like... I think it was like this. Oh, and redstone. Redstone. Which I'm very, very low on. Which is gonna be a problem, potentially, for what I want to do 
the other half of this episode. Did I get that wrong? For God bless it. What's a rolling machine? I don't know what a rolling machine is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling machine. What does this thing run off of? Alright, be right back again. Four pistons, iron. Okay. Come back here. Alright, so I got my rolling machine right here. It takes build craft power. Ooh, let the door open. It's nighttime. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead because I'm lazy and I want to get this done now. I'm going to harvest up. Can I just break these with the pickaxe? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and harvest up a couple of these. Hopefully two is enough to adequately power this thing. And I guess I'll stick him in this corner right here because that makes my life easy for the moment. All right, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, but you know what? These need a... Uh, uh, I'm gonna stick some, le some some levers, some levers. Say it the American way. Lever, right there, and right there. That's not where I wanted you. You're gonna fall through, aren't you? Okay, good. There and right there. So da da. Okay, good, 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 good. Like that. Yes. Yes. There we go. Good, good, good. And then that should be wooden rail bed. It's made with a wooden tie. Which is made with creosote. Which comes out of a coke oven. It just keeps getting more complicated. <laughs> it, okay, how do you make a coke oven? So sand. Sandy brick. So brick is made of clay. I'll be right back again. Shut up, zombie. So I guess I'm not going to get to the MFE tonight. I was hoping to, but I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm going to save the lava cells for now. And then grab some sleep and go hunt down some clay. Looks like, can I just transmute clay? Let me just check real quick. Maybe I could do this with the shard of you know, the minium stone. I can. Alright, we're doing that. Screw it. No. So, one clay brawl. Clay brawl? One clay ball. Makes one brick. I need. That's 104 bricks. Oh, yay, yay. Times four to be transmuted means I need. Oh my. I need a lot of clay. Good lordy. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and sleep and try to find some clay. Actually. Ah! You bastard. Actually, what I was going to say is, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and just try to throw together the MFE real quick if I can? Just because that way, while it's daylight, it'll uh, be collecting power. See? This is the hard bit, so I need. I need 8 times 4, 16 is 32 redstone, 4 diamond. I have that, so we're good. I'm going to go ahead and throw together, throw together the MFE, and then I'll be right back. I got all the things for my MFE. Like that, like that, like that, and like that. And then I need a transformer, because the MFE puts out too much power, so it'll, uh, it'll kerplode my machines if I attach it directly. So, copper, wood, copper wire. Be right back once again. Easy peasy. So, let me go ahead. Let's do this. Get the wrench. Wrench. What? Why? Screw it. Don't care. Don't care. It's got too much stuff in it to move easily. So let's uh, like that, like that. Like this is a tree tap, not a wrench. That would be why this isn't working. <laughs> and I'm dumb. So, wrench you up. So, let's see. MFE goes here. 
drop him right there. That's the output. Low voltage transformer goes here. And then I need to go up here. Hit it with the wrench. That brings the three dot side around because that's the input. So high voltage energy goes in here, lower voltage energy comes out here. That's how that works. And I don't think that's going to blow up. Okay, yeah, it's going to blow up copper cable. <laughs> Not to fear, we have some gold cable that I'm just going to like insulate to death so it doesn't explode. So this is accruing power. And now when I attach to this, nothing explodes. Let's just double check that nothing's... Everything still has power, everything's still running, so I did do that correctly. So now, let's actually hold the lava cells. Let's see how fast this thing picks up. As you can see, it has a much higher capacity from 40,000 up to 600,000 which is why I wanted to go ahead and do this. That way, while I'm out looking for clay, this thing builds up power from the solar panels. So I'm going to clear my inventory out, and I'll be right back. My pickaxe is almost broken, too. My shiny diamond pickaxe makes me sad. All right, and we're good. Let's go find some clay. Okay, really, I need to find, like, one clay bed, and I'm, I'm good. And that's it. I'm done. There we go. Yeah, loads of clay. So I need 104 bricks. So I need about three stacks of clay balls, right? Two stacks of clay balls. Yeah, you can see it's already 48, so... I'm going to pick up two full deposits of clay. Got over two stacks of clay balls. Pretty quick. I'm glad I decided to do this and not transmute it. Because that would have taken us just a ton of gravel. Let's go ahead and get this cooking up, and then I'll be back with my when I have all the cooked up bricks that I need. Alright, I got all the bricks that I needed. While they were cooking, I went ahead and threw together two more solar panels, so we're getting more and more, getting more green. And so now, coke oven. I have lots of bricks. I hope I have lots of everything else that I need. <sighs> I don't have that much sand. Because I need five pieces of sand times 26 blocks is 130 pieces of sand. <laughs> Um, so, can I transmute sand from anything easily? A grass block, which I can't pick up. A glass block? Does this work the way that I think it does? Hello. It does. So, I will be... I'm going to sandify a bunch of this blo these blocks. And then I'm going to dig them up, and then we will have our sand. So I'll be right back again. The animation on this is very pleasing. I like it. Alright, so that was actually really effective. It didn't take me very long at all. Got a bunch of sand. Hopefully enough. I have some more here in the house. I believe I have enough. So like that. That should be enough. And then we will build this... And then once you get all these placed, the coke oven should kind of it kind of snaps into snaps into existence like that. Yep. So I believe you put coal in here, turns into coal. Co let's just let's just do I have any coal? I do not. So you know what? I'm actually put, this is I've been recording for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. We didn't get a whole lot done. We kind of just got deeper and deeper into this into the mod pack with things going more wrong and more wrong so i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here i'm gonna figure out the coke oven kind of fix all this ugliness that i just made as always thank you guys for watching i will see you next time and stay sharp